know, I know. It's been a while. It's been a while. I've been tremendously busy. It's been extremely hectic in the last couple of days. Weeks, actually. Just extremely stressful. And in terms of housing stocks, crypto, finance, basically. They say the more money you have, the more problems you have. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely getting everything in order. It's been taking some time. But guys, Ripple. That ripple though. <laughs> Let's get to this video. Hey guys, going keep sure making more videos again today, guys. We have a product today that arguably might be my favorite dash cam ever. And we'll find out why. So without further ado, let's get to it. This is the reason why this might be my all time favorite dash cam. This guy right here. A lot of people in my videos after I talked about, after I just, you know, said something about a dual dash cam, you know what I mean? Having a dash cam in the front and also the back. A lot of people did not like the idea of buying two separate dash cams. I totally understand that. This should solve all of those issues. Dual dash cams, one for the front, one from the back. Not too bad of wiring. Should be easy to install. This is from a company, Viral I've been looking up different dash cams that are compact but not bad of a price and dual dash cams that have high quality and this guy came up so viral i hope you guys are right whoa look at that this looks like an iphone 20 box guys look at this like i'm opening a mi ipad mini or something okay for you guys who like small tiny dash cams this is it. Look at the front one right here and the back dash cam right here. That's really tiny. I'm going to put it down to the side real fast. Just make sure you get everything for the box. Okay, this has a pry tool, plug and play wiring, clips. I love these clips to take care of wiring, USB cable, a huge cable right here. Definitely going to be the cable that goes from the back to the front most likely. And it's kind of heavy duty too. Not bad. Nothing else in the box except some literature and more padding with 3M tape and stuff. I like that. It gives you extra 3M tape. Not bad. Let's put the box down to the side as an optional also you can get these two things this one is a polarizing lens filter whatever you record doesn't have any reflections and stuff like that so not bad and an optional bluetooth remote just in case if you want to do some functions with the actual camera without actually touching the camera not bad oh whoa Ooh. So here's the actual dash cam for the front. Uh, it has the you know normal buttons right here menu record stuff like that And and then obviously an SD slot on the side right here You can need your SD card make sure that your SD card is fast enough Okay, you don't want to get a slow SD card I'll leave that link in the description below as well It has a USB port right here for data transfer AV port for audio video transfer And then on top right here has a port for the rear camera connecting to the front camera that port should in theory Transfer data and also power and then the last but not least you have your power port that is up here that powers this bad boy so everything with this guy is plug and play so don't worry even though you know one camera is in the front one camera is in the back everything is plug and play you guys already know i like plug and play things because i don't want to be messing with wires and stuff now here's the actual camera on the side right here here are the buttons and the screen nice little screen here's the camera on the side this camera is adjustable up and down right here now this type of camera you set it you stick it on your window somewhere high and you're done you just leave it there you don't have to worry about suction mount or anything like that. This has some high quality 3M tape. Obviously, if you need to take it off, you have plenty more right here. All right, and here is the actual back part right here. It's really small, the back portion. I like that. You take the clip right here, slide it on like so, and bam, you have the sticky part for the back window as well. So this is more of a permanent solution instead of you know you're you're not going to be moving this around and stuff like that if you need to show what's on a dash cam you show it via the screen right here or obviously take out the sd card in most cases when i need to use my sd card to show the insurance company etc what happened you just, i just took it out of the sd card slot took it to my computer and uploaded it to their system that's what normally happens anyways you're not going to be you know using the video from the screen you're going to be using the video from the sd card itself so simple of back part as well you just have the plug right here to plug it in from this guy to this guy and then this thing moves freely as well not bad for a dual dash cam this is a pretty simple setup guys only issue that i see the hardest part of this entire process is obviously making sure that you hide the wire that goes from your front dash cam to the rear dash cam and there's plenty of places i mean look at all this wire right here there's a ton of wire right here plenty of places you can hide wire you know it's not hard at all you can just hide wire it between the trims and stuff so let's get in my vehicle Let's turn these two on and see how they actually look. So without further ado, let's get to it.
Alrighty guys, in theory the wiring setup is done. All you need is obviously this guy to be connected in here into power. Here's a bunch of cable that runs all the way to the front. And then this guy connects with all this cable to the back that is literally all of it and you're done so like i said the wiring is easy now hiding the wires is going to be different for every single vehicle obviously they have the pry tool you can use the pry tool you don't have to pry any parts out whenever i hide wire up here and stuff like that i never pry anything out i use this tool to basically push wire in between trim as you can see like you know pushing it right here i'm going to give you an example you have some wire right here you can you basically push it in between the trim and that's how you hide wire and you pretty much go all the way you know go up like so like that so now i want to actually see how this thing looks now for the purpose of the video i'm going to be putting this guy to the back of the vehicle and having this in the front and i just want to see how it actually looks on that screen so let's go put that in the back of the vehicle all righty guys i have everything set up i have the back camera in the back back there i have it at the bottom right there but make sure you know you stick it up to the glass this is for test purposes i want to see if this bad boy works also i have the camera in the front right here all i have to do is actually turn it on now to turn it on guys a lot of people ask me this all the time how do i turn the dash cam on do i have to actually press a button every time i turn on the vehicle the answer is no these are set it and forget it devices so basically you set it in a vehicle and you forget about it until the day you actually require it hopefully you never have to require it obviously but these are set it and forget it because the way this turns on the way this records is when you turn on your vehicle in my case i push button start whatever method your car uses you turn on your vehicle this thing will automatically turn on and start recording the front and back Part. so i'm gonna push the button right here you can see the button i have the key in the vehicle now i do and let's give it a go let's turn this bad boy on there we have it as you can see now this one does have a five second delay. So you can actually make it higher if you want a 10 second 15 second delay whatever delay you want for it to actually turn on as you can see this one has a five second delay and now it actually turns on and ready to go now this is pretty awesome guys as you can see this is the front camera showing right there and you can see the tiny window in the corner right there that is actually the back camera in the back you can see the garage right there and you can see the clouds and the other houses and stuff it's super cool you can even even switch between different camera modes you want that beeping sound by the way is the fact that it's saying that it needs an sd card and i don't have an sd card in here however you will definitely be having an sd card i'll leave the link in the description below for that but this is right here you click this button and you can see it changes the view the back camera comes in the front right here front camera comes right here you can see i'm moving the camera right here uh, for the front camera this is the back camera right here it's really really awesome you can obviously only have it for front and obviously if you click the button one more time you can have it only for back it's really really awesome depending on what way you want this is probably a very simple dash cam i've used as well because it already has a gps in here you can see miles per hour right here you can have the gps off and or you can have it on in my case i have it on right now so if i start moving the vehicle this will actually give me the miles per hour that the vehicle is going at it has gps in here already everything is built in that's pretty awesome there's different menu options resolution bit rate loop recording parking mode exposure obviously you can make it in kilometers per hour if you need that now wi-fi this thing can actually connect with your cell phone as well you have to download the app and stuff i don't normally use that all of these options are in here now the main option that i want to talk to you guys about is actually loop recording that's right here this is loop recording a lot of people ask me all the time hey if i buy a 64 gigabyte memory card for this guy will i have to keep formatting the card will i have to keep deleting the videos the answer is no because this is on loop recording what that means is that every three minutes in this case three minutes i don't know if you can see that or not but every three minutes it would automatically record another clip if it starts getting full it will automatically delete the oldest clip and continue recording flawlessly that is the main part about this so far guys i am absolutely loving this thing i mean it's so simple to use there's also the parking option to make sure like you know if someone hits your car while you're parking this thing will automatically start recording the g sensor is awesome on here because if something does happen it will record and never delete so that's another awesome thing about this bad boy you know it has all the functions that most high-end dash cams have except that this can record the front and back you know after you guys ask me hey is there a way i can get front and back without getting two different dash cams this might be it guys this 
this look at this bad boy is so tiny so small but gets the job done so if you're new in the market and you don't have a dash cam and you're looking for a dash cam guys i would highly suggest this guy because it has a front and back like i said the only hardest part about the installation is hiding the wires and you can definitely hide the wires through this trim right here and go all the way around all the way to the back part of the vehicle really awesome product guys i'm going to give this like a five star rating this really does get the job done for front and back camera you can see i'm switching through the camera modes right there tremendously helpful i'm loving this and i know you will love it Alrighty guys, that's been it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This dash cam can be very helpful in those tight situations when you require it. You never know when something will happen on the road. You're by yourself. You have all the evidence you have in the dash cam. I can't believe so many people, you know, especially in the United States, many people don't have dash cams. A lot of my friends and family have been getting dash cams and it's gotten them out of sticky situations. You guys know my personal experience. You guys know my brother's experience. You guys know some of my friends' experience, what happened with them. And without a dash cam, it would be way harder to get that check to fix your car or whatever. But this dash cam is even better because it's a front and back dash cam. What can go wrong, guys? I absolutely love this thing. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below. You guys already know it. There's a box right there. And if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. But, but with that being said, there should be a subscribe button and also a video button popping right here. Make sure you click on for more videos in the future. And that guy's Kinchashay saying thanks for watching. Watching in. Peace.